How's it going you guys? The name is just B here. Welcome to my channel. For all you guys that have been following me up to this point, welcome. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different um, than most of my other videos. I'm gonna show you guys a part of me that only people who are close to me pretty much know, and that is that I am a sneakerhead. At least I was uh, up until a couple of uh, months ago, almost a year actually. Did I tell you guys I used to work for Nike? I used to work at an outlet store uh, for Nike and it's pretty much where my, well, that's not very, that's not true. During that time, I was able to basically go crazy with my sneaker obsession and because of the 40% off discount uh, for employees and I always had it readily available and it just so happened that my section at Nike was footwear. That being said, most of these shoes I'm gonna show you guys today are pretty much gonna be Nike's. I do wear other brands obviously, but since I work for Nike, there was this thing, this sort of loyal uh, brand loyalty that, uh, that we all pretty much followed who worked at Nike. And for the longest time, I only bought Nikes. Well, I mean, because they were cheaper for me because of the discount, like I said. But yeah, so without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys my top five. I know I said top five, but I'm gonna show you guys six. Um, because before I worked at Nike, I actually purchased my first uh, pair of shoes when I came back with my own money. Uh, because before that, it was obviously the, my parents that always had my back and would buy, buy me my shoes, buy me my clothes. It wasn't until I came back from the Navy, Navy uh, active duty, that I came back with some cash and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna buy my first pair of sneakers. And what was that pair? Let me show you guys. Right here, we have a Kobe box. And not just any Kobe box. If you guys know shoes or sneakers, then you guys pretty much know what uh, shoe box this is. This is a Kobe 9 shoe box, uh, size 10. Uh, when I came back, uh, I came back in like late 2014, uh, early 2015. So I was here by uh, 2015, uh, which was literally three years ago. And the first shoe I decided to pick up were these bad boys right here. If you guys know the Kobe 9s, in my opinion, the best traction that the Kobe line ever came out with, in my opinion. These came out, I believe, in January, January 3rd. Yeah, January 3rd, 2015. Um, as you can see, they're pretty much beat up because I, I, I ball in these. I, I've, I've gone to raves in this. I've gone to different uh, places in this, in, in this sneaker. Um, it's such an interesting colorway. I believe these were called the Silk Roads. They have different patterns on them. And uh, I just love these shoes. I love them so much. They were the first uh, Kobe's that I ever put on. The Lunar Lawn still holds up, but it's pretty mushy now, the, the insole. I'll show you guys the insole. That insole, the Lunar Lawn. Back then, this was the technology in 2015. This was it. This and the Air Max units, obviously. But, um, but yeah, this shoe had, holds a very special place in my heart just because it was the first shoe that I purchased with my own cash. Um, yeah, I love this shoe. Um, I would never sell this shoe. Um, and I just love the patterns on it and everything. Right, I'm moving on to the first shoe on my list. Technical first shoe on my list. Right here. Ooh, let's get the dust off, it's been a minute. Right here. Do you guys know this box right here? The KD7 box right here. I know a lot of you guys have bad blood with. Kevin Durant right now, calling him a snake and whatever for going to the Warriors. But, the man is good. And not just that, this shoe in particular caught my eye back in 2015 as well. Um, I believe these uh, came out February, I forgot what, what exact date, but February something, 2000, uh, 2015. The On Pearl 7s, you guys. Now, this shoe, in particular was the first shoe I won in a raffle. Um, so that's the significance behind this shoe. And this shoe is just beautiful in my opinion. I've tried my best to keep it as uh, mint as I could. Um, obviously it shows wear. The traction on the bottom of the sevens were pretty nice too. The cushion setup on the back is very nice. Uh, 
And yeah, I think the thing that stands out the most is the little Velcro, the angel wings. And uh, I just love the story behind the Om Pearl line and how he dedicated this, uh, this, this certain colorway to his, basically his Aunt Pearl. Um, and Kevin Durant, uh, K. Yao Cancer Fund, in memory of Aunt Pearl who inspired us all to continue the fight for a cure. His Aunt Pearl passed away due to cancer. Um, I believe breast cancer. That's why it has the breast cancer logo on the back as well. Um, yeah, these are just beautiful shoes in my opinion. Um, KD or not, I don't care what athlete, these caught my eye and in my opinion are the best Aunt Pearls that ever came out and have ever come out in my opinion. Um, you guys are welcome to disagree, that's just my opinion. Um, so these hold a very special place in my heart. These were the last pair of shoes I bought before I started working at Nike. Alright, so now moving on to shoes that I actually bought at Nike, uh, when, at my time during Nike, with Nike, I might say. Um, these right here, these were actually returns. Uh, and I was lucky enough to be able to snag a pair for myself. You guys know this, this is the Air Max 95 uh, box. Uh, these shoes are amazing. Uh, they're OG, the, the original colorway. Um, Man, they just speak for themselves, you know? They're just very, very nice shoes. They go with a lot of things. Uh, I just love the Volt, and then the different shades getting darker and darker on the side until it becomes black on the bottom. They're extremely comfortable, and I'm just blessed to be able to have these in hand because I know they came out originally in 95. In 95, I was only one year, one year old. I was only a one year old. Like, I was born in 94, so, these right here are old school, in my opinion. Well, I mean, for me they are. For obviously sneakerheads that started in the 80s, uh, the shoes, I mean, it's still considered OG, but for me, it's it's one of my gems, and I love the shoe, and I love wearing it out. Um, there's not much else to be said, except, you know, it's, it's one of the shoes I hold here, too. So that's number two right there. And then um, after this one, my favorite uh, shoes to hoop in of all time, all time. Um, Kobe 9s are a close second in my opinion. These right here, the Air Jordan 29s, right here. And the particular colorway that I have right here is the Riverwalk colorways. Now this particular pair I was able to snag because, like I said, I used to work in footwear. So anything that was put on the back wall, I pretty much had full access to. Um, I just love how it goes from the from the like royal blue to like pink, but when you see it from far away, it looks purple. And the giant jump man right here on the side, I really, really, really like that. Um, I know a lot of people work, you know, for it or against it. Uh, for me, I really love it. It stands out. Um, the technology in it was, in my opinion, some of the best implemented. It feels like a sock when you try this on, when you play b-ball in it. Um, uh, at first, I was kind of skeptical because usually with translucent bottoms, the traction isn't the best in my opinion. But after breaking them in, I'm breaking them in is literally like an hour in and they feel like a sock, like I said. These bite the floor, sometimes so hard that I have to remember uh, that these bite super hard because if not, I lose balance because I'm trying to stop on a dime, I'm trying to do a cut or trying to do a crossover and you know, these have my back. Uh, they're very extremely comfortable. They have the Air Max units uh, right here in the front. Uh, I think there's one in the back too, but it's not very visible and overall, the best basketball sneaker that Jordan Brand ever came out with, in my opinion. These and the 28s. The 28s, you know, they're pretty nice too. Um, but these in particular, and the colorway itself, I just love it to death. My favorite color is purple. So, I mean, you guys, you guys do the math. These away. All right. Now these in particular. All right. Right here. So, 
Who doesn't like the Air Jordan 1? The Air Jordan 1 silhouette, in my opinion, is by far one of the best shoes, one of the best silhouettes that ever came out on the market. Um, this one right here, I was lucky enough to get it. Uh, I actually didn't win it at Nike. I actually got it at Foot Locker. So, because unfortunately, since it was of high demand, I wasn't able to snag a pair for myself. Uh, so, of course, I had to find a different way to get it. Right here, the bread ones. These came out in 2016, I believe. Um, I love these. I love these so much. You can wear these pretty much with anything and you're good to go, you know? Uh, the bread colorway, black and red. Uh, so you got, you got yourself very, very high quality leather on the toe box. Um, I love them. these particular pairs. They have the, the little, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it, it shows the size and the number out of uh, the pairs. So this one's pair 841,018 which is pretty cool. Um, they're just really, really nice sneakers. Uh, I feel like with time, these will go down in history as one of the most coveted, if not already, some of the most coveted sneakers. Um, I wouldn't poop in these, obviously, but for lifestyle, these are amazing. Um, I love them so much. Just black and red goes, go, goes well with pretty much anything. Um, it's just a good shoe to have. I love it. I love Jordan Brand for the most part because Jordan Brand's been coming out with some weird colors lately. So that's that. Um, and then the final shoe I want to show you guys that I really, really love. This one was a. Uh, this one was awesome. Right here, the 7210s. Uh, Air Jordan 11, another silhouette that's highly coveted in the sneaker community. Um, this particular, uh, this particular one right here. The story behind it. I used to have an awesome, an awesome manager. My favorite manager by far at Nike. Um, his name was uh, Edward. He still works for Nike, I believe. Um, but he was by far, he was the guy who interviewed me, for crying out loud. He interviewed me and he was the one who gave me the job at Nike. And I was just cool with him. And, uh, and I was lucky enough to be uh, allowed to get this pair for not only my 30% off, but then an additional like 20% off that, 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 that day um, with his permission and it was amazing. So I got these on super, super cheap for what they were worth. Um, they're worth what, 220 retail? I got them I think for like 80 bucks. Like 80 bucks, I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm not even kidding. Like, these are just awesome, awesome shoes right here. Got a little, it says, uh, Nike made them fly, Tinker made them shine, you made them iconic. The 11, the sleeve right there. And then, oh man, I love these so much. Right here, the 72 tens, which are supposed to signify, uh, you know, the, the record that the Chicago Bulls had, their best record, which was 72 wins, 10 losses. That's an amazing accomplishment in the NBA. I don't care what era. Um, but yeah, I've tried my best to keep these as fresh as I can. Um, unfortunately, with with the milky bottoms, with time, they yellow no matter what. Um, but the Jordan 11, in my opinion, is just such a sexy sneaker, you guys. It's one of those that you can, you see at weddings, you see them at prom, you see them for graduation. People be wearing them anywhere formal. This is this is considered the formal sneaker, um, and with good reason because it's just the sexy sneaker. I love this sneaker. It's my favorite one. Um, and mind you, I also own the Bread Elevens. Um, I'm going after the Prom Night Elevens. Uh, I, I skipped on the Space Jams just because they had the 45 on the back, and I'm not. I don't know. Who remembers Michael Jordan for the 45? You know. Um, but yeah, these right here hold a special place in my heart. I love the story behind them. I love how I acquired them. And I rock these. I rock these as often as I can, but of course I try my best to keep, um, keep them in mint condition. Love these. Let's put them back to sleep for right now. And uh, yeah, those are pretty much my five, technically six favorite Nike sneakers that I own right now. Um, obviously this is subject to change because even though I claim I'm not in the game anymore, there's a couple of shoes that came out recently 
that I just had a cop. Uh, one of them being the Court Purples. Uh, the Air Jordan 1 Court Purples. So those are coming in and I'm gonna make a review and an on foot for those. Um, I was also able to snag my first pair of Yeezys. So yeah, some Adidas in here. Um, the, the, the all white, uh, though, but I mean, who didn't snag those? If you wanted those, cool. Um, you were able to get them because there was enough pairs for everyone. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's my video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification, the little bell for notifications. The name's just be here. You guys have a great rest of your day.